Well, this Valentine's Day, we thought that we would turn to some local love experts. News 8 Shelby Kluver brings us out to Morrison, Illinois, where some residents of Rust have assisted living facility and some advice for love. How long have you guys been married? It will be 65 years in June. <coughs> Does it feel like 65 years? Yeah. <laughs> So if you guys had a date night tonight, what would be your perfect date night? Probably a nice dinner someplace with special music playing. To stay home. <laughs> I knew that was coming. To go out to a restaurant to eat. Date night? Well, I think I'm beyond date nights. <laughs> I have to say, I'm getting to the stay home stage, too. I feel like the Valentine Day night would be my special night. Do you have a favorite Valentine's Day present you ever received? Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Always chocolate. Fannie Mae, you can't go wrong. <laughs> you got that candy, a heart. For Valentine's Day. Oh, I get candy and just all kinds of things. Yeah, I like Valentine's Day. What do you think is the most important thing in a relationship? To show your love to your partner. Try to not fight. Nobody wins. Love. True love. Yep, that's it. How do you know when it's true love? You feel it. There's also inertia, you know, where you're comfortable, you get along, and it's the way life is. My most important thing on any relationship, not necessarily um, Valentine's, but I, I think You've got to be honest with people. Give a little, take a little, give a little more. What is love to you? What does they say? Love is never having to say you're sorry. I don't know, wasn't that in a movie or something? Being able to get along for all these years. Just, just be there for each other. I think it's just being understanding and, and uh, trying to see the other person's point of view. Maybe romance is when your husband of nearly 65 years ties your shoes because you can no longer reach your own laces to do that. Maybe that's romance. Just life. I love life. Are you guys still in love? Yes. I would not care to have to do without wants. And uh, I hope he feels the same way. I do. <clears throat> there you have it. Oh my gosh. Uh, the part where they say love is not having to say sorry. I'm one of those people that says I'm sorry for everything. I don't think I would have stayed in a relationship if I never said sorry. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, this is a unique Valentine's Day for me. My husband was recently deployed. Um, so, you know, this will be our first one apart. Um, so it's a little sad, but... Can you get a call in? Yes. Well, we've been able to talk every day, thankfully, because not every couple gets to do that, so... No. Yeah. Yeah.